Hi there, I'm Sorceress Zero and Peraltis. This is part of our ongoing effort to become a little more ecologically sound. Mm -hmm. This is part of our uh, plant-based meat replacement uh, adventure. Today we found vegan tuna. This comes from Sophie's Kitchen. The company is based in California. They have more than just vegan tuna. They actually have things from vegan tuna, uh, coconut shrimp, all the way down to salmon jerky. Um, hmm. So, so today we're going to see. We've seen that the same way. The sam we've seen actual salmon jerky. Yeah. Um, I'd actually like to see what a plant-based salmon jerky tastes like. Yeah. Let's see. Can we talk Yeah. Yeah, you can see it there. That's what we're going to have. And the can is BPA free, GMO free. And we're going to have this today with vegan Triscuits. I love these Triscuits because they have exactly three ingredients, whole grain wheat, canola oil, and sea salt. And not just the, the Triscuits, but we're also going to use vegan eggs. Which is actually really good. The, you know, this is so good. I, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did, and yeah. the jar is almost gone. Yeah. I'm going to be definitely making sure that Vegan A's becomes a complete hmm. change um, for us. Should probably dump off the liquid, right? Yeah. Like regular. Oh, it's oil. There's actually oil in there. Yeah. Wow, it's, that's, it's okay, very do, different it looking. does not, okay, I really hate to say this, but this looks like cat food. It does. <laughs> uh, can I see it? It smells like tuna. Really? You it kind of, like, it's, it's definitely smells like, I mean, it doesn't look completely. It doesn't smell bad. And it doesn't look completely unattractive, but I don't know if you can see it, that. It's kind of a dark brown. The, yeah, the actual look like yeah, the me. actual visual is not really impressing me, but the smell is okay. Yeah, it smells fine. The smell is okay. Yeah, it definitely has a meaty smell to it. It's where's the ingredients? I olive oil. There's olive oil, potato starch, salt, seaweed. Yeah, a whole lot of seaweed. That's where we're getting the salty. Yeah. Seaweed, uh, Ginger, uh, kunjic powder, vinegar, black pepper. So there are quite a nice amount of of spices in there. Yeah. So the first thing we're actually going to do is taste a taste a little bit. Taste a little bit of it. Okay. Oh, I get to go first. Right? You get to go first. Hmm. It flakes like tuna. It actually does. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste like tuna. It's got a chewy texture to it. Definitely yeah. does not taste like tuna. No. Um, it has a sort of fishiness from, the, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. what's from the seaweed. And the texture is not like tuna at all. No, it's, it's a little bit harder and chewier. Yeah. And a big test is we both, like... Um, Tuna mayonnaise sandwiches and tuna mayonnaise on, on, on triscuits and crackers and what have you. Snacky things. Snacky things. Snacky so, things. So, you know, we know we wouldn't eat tuna either straight out of a can, like we'd mix it with mayonnaise. So, we have the veganaise. Let's see if we make a nice spread for it. Probably the biggest, one of the biggest tests for this would be. Um, would be a, a, a grilled tuna sand, tuna and yeah. cheese sand, a, a tuna melt, yeah. a tuna melt would be. This is pretty hard to mix. It's It breaks up fairly easily, but you have to spend quite an amount of time actually mixing it. Looks like we need more mayonnaise if there's another there. Really? Well, try it like this. There isn't a whole lot left. It's kind of scrapings in the jar. We really like that mayonnaise. Me too. Veganaise is really good. 
It seems to soak up the mayonnaise. Yeah. Okay. Which is pretty par for the course for uh, for for plant based meat replacers. Uh, it really does kind of hmm. fall apart. Okay. Let's try this. Hmm. Hmm. That's a nice snack. This is, um, mid-range it's not yeah it's not it's not really like tuna it's kind of sea salty and you know but the texture is way yeah. different than tuna yeah way different it's pretty good with mayonnaise you need a lot more mayonnaise yeah you need more mayonnaise because yeah. it simply soaks up the mayonnaise yeah so I like that one. I'm not sure that I would Pick this as a like a regular alternative shopping. Mm -hmm. I dev I would not go and buy large amounts of this like um like the Morning Star bacon like I've mm -hmm. started like the Morning Star bacon and the Morning Star riblets. I started buying those regularly. Mm -hmm. This would not be a regular purchase, and I could really see how some people would be turned off by the texture and the look. Um. Yeah. I mean. It's it's really it's not, not like tuna. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's it does not look like tuna. If you're expecting, you know, uh, tuna in this, like you're going to be disappointed. There but are no, bad. but there it are no. Looks a bit like ground meat, like ground like beef. Like ground beef. Mm -hmm. There are no chemically tastes to this no. at all. Simply no chemically taste. No. But I, the oil makes. It does taste very, you know meaty it does yeah, taste so very meaty what? it's if you gave yeah. this to somebody and told them it was meat they'd think it was meat they'd think it was meat but tuna mm, i think no. they need to keep working on it i think so yeah yeah well it's so, not bad if you if you want to give it a try vegan sea salt vegan tuna uh sophie's kitchen this is the only thing i've seen from sophie's kitchen here in corvallis at uh at the first alternative co-op mm -hmm. but i'm pretty sure you could probably buy it online yeah. their their packages would be available it, it is a tasty snack but it's don't be expecting a tuna, a taste. tuna experience mm -hmm. um but if you just want if you're vegan and you you just um want a nice tasty snack then mm -hmm. go for it yeah it is it's a very nice tasty snack yeah and how would you rate it out of five Mm. I'd probably give it a three. I'm hovering around a three as well. Yeah. Good, not great. Yeah. Tasty, but not yeah. what we were expecting, really. Not quite what we were expecting. Yeah, but, but it's certainly not bad, you know. Mm. 